Hey everybody, Rudder Schlem coming to today to talk about the clone. That's right, it has arrived. They are invading us yet again. Uh, before, you guys probably heard of that UFO series, you remember the ET Core? Well, we cloned it, and ultimately that's how we got to the name. And taking that original ET Core, which was a asymmetric part, but I think the big thing to remember, the reason why those balls rolled so good is the higher RG, and it was more of a light bulb shape. So. And thinking about the process of this ball, we went to the drawing board, we changed the density up a little bit, we were able to lower the RG just the point, so it's 251, um, but the differential went up two points, so it's at 56. The idea here was to still have a complementary piece, because by now most everybody probably has a gem or an exotic gem or both. Those balls are at 247, so I wanted to have an alternated piece in the HP4 line that's a little bit cleaner through the front part of the lane, you know, because let's face it, Lane panels age every day just like we do. So it never hurts to have a little extra push through the front on those surfaces where you need it or the conditions where you need it. Um, so that was kind of the goal with bringing this part back into the rotation, mix it up just a little bit. But the big thing was the cover stock. If you guys remember the UFO alert, that was a hybrid cover. That was two part pearl, one part solid. This one is all solid. The OptiTrax cover, again, it's one of those cover stocks that's a new formulation. There's no particles in it, there's no additives. This is purely a chemical composite cover. Um, it's stronger than, I say, our E-Trax, E-Trax Plus. So it gives you a little bit more traction, if you will, but it doesn't dig in, say, like our Microtrax with the nanoparticles. Um, so like I said, there's no additives. So it makes it cleaner right there. The other key to it, too, is the fact that it's factory shined. You know, when, when I started looking at the product line across the board, the only other ball we have across our brands was the Hustle Rip. And we all know how great that ball is on house shots. So the idea, I started thinking, I'm like, man, it's been a while. And most of you, the, the faithful ones, the, the, the true followers, remember back to the eternal cell. Uh, it's been a hot minute since we had a big high-end ball, solid factory shined. So the combination of the core shape being, like I said, it's asymmetric, but more of a bulb, the higher RG. So again, that helps promote the length. Then you take a solid shiny cover, which also then adds to the length but it still responds and creates shape down lane without overreacting off friction. So that was the main goal. Um, ultimately a complimentary piece, not only just to the road grip line, but across our three, three family brands. Oh, by the way, don't freak out. Yes, you can add surface to it too. It's fine. It takes surface, you can sand it down. I've seen people sand it down to a thousand. I've seen people shine it up even more. Whatever the case may be, again, another pliable, versatile, solid cover stock that even if you sand it, yeah, it's gonna pick up sooner, but it's still gonna get through the front part of the lane. So that is just another added caveat and bonus to this ball. So there you go, folks. Again, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, Brother Shalem, I'm out.